Now, will there be non-Muslims in the government of the Imam? Yes, there will be. While most people will accept the truth, there will be some who want to practice Christianity and Judaism, people of the book. So, will the Imam give them the freedom? Yes, the Imam will give them the freedom to practice Christianity and Judaism, but the original Christianity, the original Judaism. So we see religious tolerance in the government of the Imam. One hadith states, the Imam السلام, will go to a cave in Antakya. Antakya is an ancient Christian city. A lot of biblical scholars believe that in fact Christianity spread from this village. In English it's called Antioch. It's on the border between Turkey and Syria. So today, in, the, in today's world map, it's in Turkey, close to the Syrian border. The Imam السلام, will go to this cave and he will pull out the original Bible, the Injil, the Evangel that was revealed to Isa, and the original Torah, the Old Testament, as it was revealed without any changes. He will extract that from this cave. فَيَحْكُمُ The Imam السلام, will rule the people of the Bible with the Bible and the people of the Torah with the Torah.